Hey guys, it's Noah Kemboy, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you something different. And uh, I'll teach you how you can create an image view. An image view is something like this, uh, where you want to place uh, some images in your interface, and uh, maybe you want to create something that will, like an admission. Uh, let, let me give you an example. You have an admission system. You have a list of students, and then you want to search each one using the admission number. Like uh, here, I'll press in the admission number one and it will load the, the ID, maybe because uh, I don't have uh, uh, good images, but uh, maybe this is the ID, uh, the photo of the admission number one. And when you type in a different admission, it will just give you a different image. Uh, maybe you want to give to, to place, uh, you have a gallery and you want to search uh, it using its name or something like that. So I'll teach you how you can do this in JavaFX and JavaFX ML application. So right away, let us create a, a new project. So file, new project. Then JavaFX, then JavaFX FXML application. Select next. Then type in the name of the uh, F, uh, the project, and I'll call it Image View, and then finish. So once you do that, now uh, we have three files as usual. So uh, you just come here, and we will right-click this uh, FXML file, and then open it in the scene builder. And as usual, we are always supplied with the button on the label. So I'll select the button and the label, and I will delete them because we don't need them in this application. So here, and then I will now uh, resize the uncap and fast because uh, before I had anything inside this uh, window. So let us resize the uncap to something at least that uh, we can view because we'll be placing some images here, and it will be it will need some space. And then I'll type in VBox and because I want to align most of the things here vertically. And then uh, after the entering the VBox, I click it and fit it to the parent so that uh, it can be fit to the parent. And then now we will need an HBox again. An HBox is uh, an horizontal box, basically. So anything inside an HBox is aligned horizontally. So I'll place it first inside the HBox. And, uh, Inside this H box, I'll be uh, I'll be placing an image and a, a text field. Where I'll be entering the name of the ID, the admission number, uh, or the the name of the image, and it will be searching the image and displaying it uh, below this H box. So where it will be displaying it, it will use a pen because we will be creating, be searching uh, using the Java code and then displaying it and adding it, adding it as a child to the to the to this pen. So uh, and. Uh, what you should know about uh, the Java FX, uh, uh, application, first of all, come to the layout, put in edit to be always so that it can grow uh, with the VBox. So, what thing you should know about uh, the FXML file, there's always a parent, the root, and then the, the, uh, the, the structure, and you can add a child to a container. So, a VBox, a pen, there are forms of containers, and you can, it can hold more than one thing in its own, in, inside it. So. Uh, that's why I decided to use a pen because what will be happening, the images that will be selected and that will be changing will be displayed in this pen. So uh, a number of uh, images, uh, different images will be displayed on the same area in this pen. So the best way is to put a container and then uh, depending on the name selected entered in the text field, uh, it will be displayed there. So first of all, let us search an image view here. An image view is just where you can place images inside it. And then, now, this image view will be dropped, uh, drag and drop it inside the headbox. Then, resize this uh, headbox. After doing that, now, I think you're good to go. Now, you need a text field. A text field. Text field so that you can place in the name uh, of the images. So, uh, such a text field. So this is a text field. I'll drop it inside the edge box, so that it can be beside uh, the the image view. Now I'll give it a margin of 20 from all sides, and then now I'll set some prompt text. So come to properties and set some prompt text, and I'll say, uh, please enter image name. So 
Uh, that's it. You can just increase the size. Uh, now that we have done that, it is simple. We have an image view here, uh, and we, we will have to do something first. First, come back to Netflix. We don't have an image in our project. So that the one scenario first is to add an image in the project. So I'll just come here and uh, to my local DC and uh, local DC. I'll select. I have a folder named images. So this and uh, this way I'll be getting the images uh, for the second uh, scenario. So I'll just select an image, image number two here, and I'll copy it. Then come back to NetBeans, right click it and uh, paste it here. So now that we have pasted it here in this package, now let us get it. So first of all, uh, I'll come here to the properties. Now browse for that image. Uh, so we want to browse the location. So our project is it folder? Uh, sorry, is in documents. Uh, documents. Folder name tutorials. Uh, then image view. Source. Then image view. And here we go. So that is one scenario, and you can see it displayed the, the image successfully. Now there's a second text field here. Uh, so that's one way you can display text fields in an image. If you just preview this application, you can see what happens. So the second uh, scenario is where you place names here. So let us give this uh, text field an ID, a text field an ID. So I will give it ID names. So we'll be placing the names of the images here. And uh, I'll put a method in this on action event so that when someone just enters an, uh, the name and press enter, it will just display the value. So an action event, this what I can, so just play, display, display image. So that's it. Uh, and then uh, this pen, select this pen and give it an ID again. Let us give this uh, pen an ID. Uh, and let us say pen, pen view. And then you can save uh, your progress. Now come back to the to the uh, NetBeans and then right click the FXML file and make the controller. So once you've done that now, uh, we'll tap in some codes. So let us delete first this label and this method because it is not relevant. So we will first clear anything that is inside the pen view to clear to avoid duplicate series or duplicate values or, uh, or overloading so we get the children if there are any and we will clear it so this is how you clear some, everything from a pen view and then next uh, it is now to type in uh, to select an image so we we'll, so our images are in the directory uh, locally c a folder named images so you can just uh, create a, a directory in local dc or any place you want uh, and you can name it what you have or what you want and i've placed some images about 10 images and then now come to netbeans again image and then declare the variable image image and then now we'll be creating a new image and then into brackets i'll type in the directory uh, First of all, let us import something here. So it's a JavaFX in image. And then we'll be typing the, the, the file information. So it is a file in our directory. So colon, three forward slashes. And then let us type in now uh, the directory. So it's at C. And then a uh, directory, the images. And then after doing that now, uh, inside the directory, we have the name, we shall place the name, but since the name we are getting from a text field, we just come here first and uh, get the, the, the value, the string value of the text field. So string name equals to names dot get text. Now, first of all, we are getting the value of the, of the uh, entered item. Now here, we are supposed to put the name of the, of the image, like uh, name, dot g j p g but you you know the name we are getting the value of this name from a text field so in here i'll just put uh, double quotes 
and then add two plus signs and in between these two plus signs i'll type in the name so i'm adding uh, the string value into this uh, file location so once you do that now it is now time to create uh, an image view so that you can place this image inside an image view so and i'll say uh, java fx let's see that image uh, that image view uh, and I'll call this image view just image view all in small upper uh, small case letters uh, lower case and then now uh, these are new uh, so these are new uh, Java FX image so Java FX let's see that image that image view so oh, so that's it we have created a new image view now let us give this image view first some dimensions so this image view let us give it an uh, and inside the set fit width to be so let us give this fit width to be a 300 and then again so sorry then image view everything was in lowercase and then so uh and then just undo whatever i done so image view that's our image view and we are trying to set some width so i just do it again and i'll set uh, so this is what i want i want to set this fit width so I think there was some um, grammatical errors, and then I just uh, type in the width. So this uh, now you want to display the dimensions. So image view dot set feet uh, height, and then now I can place in the, the dimensions of the height uh, of the image view, and then after doing that, now I add uh, a child into this image view. So I'll add so. Uh, get children add so, some brackets here and then add so I um, will be adding the image you created and then now that we have done that so this image view should all be in the lower case mm. uh, sorry uh, I think there's some you can just now I think sorry there's some errors here so you can just just take this image directly and just add it in between this so that it, whenever the, on the first point for this image we just created you just add the image just directly set the dimensions of the image view and add uh, it as a child of the pen view now so that's what we'll be doing so pen view dot uh, get children Then add add the child uh, image view. So that's it. Uh, after doing that, now you can uh, decide to build the application. And uh, just first uh, wait for the build to be successful. So once the build is successful, now can run the file so here we are and then now i'll be searching uh, a list of images from this directory and let us just double check it for the record for the purpose of recording uh, of uh, this so that in image number five here and then press enter uh, you can see it displayed image number five and when i type in a different uh, uh, image it will just display the second image and let me just type in image number two that is where, where the one is selected and you can see it just corresponds to each other so that was it about image views i hope you learned something about image views how now you can get the values so first of all i created a page in the fxml file and then I named it PenView. 
So I cleared first in this code here. I cleared the, the, the image view, the, the pen first, and then got the value of the entered uh, name, and then I created a new image. And this image took uh, the image from a directory in the, your comp in the PC. So these are these the Windows operating system, so local PC. And then uh, after doing that, now I created an image view and I added the in uh, image inside this image view and then gave this image view some dimensions, some width and height, and then now added this image view as, as a child to the pen. So that was it about uh, uh, image views. So I'll be showing you how you can now use image views in a very wide, sophisticated application. So I uh, hope you learned something. So subscribe it, uh, to this channel to learn more about Java, JavaFX and programming languages. So that was it. Thank you.